Okay. Let's move on now to, from tennis. We go to yeah, football, obviously. Yeah, football. Bundesliga. Yeah. Over to Germany first. But when you see the link up between Robert Lewandowski and Iron Robin, you see mm. both of them linking up together. Like, there's some clubs that actually need players like that. You know, talking about my United. Anyway, yeah, they're actually <laughs> 3-1 against Augsburg, and it was right from the start. And mm. Lenzing, I mean, this club. Yes. Okay, you know what? We'll enjoy that highlight, and we'll come back and talk more about the German Bundesliga. Yeah. That's what you do when the ball fa fails to get in. All you have to just hit the post and talk to the post. Somehow, it might just help. Maybe United could have done that. Maybe one of the goals could have entered. Anyway, uh, China State Boyens joins us now on this segment. We'll be looking at the papers and also some two games from the EPL and also some of the gists. Good morning, China State. Welcome to Good the morning, Cecilia. How are you doing? Fantastic. How are you doing? Uh, great. How was your weekend? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. It's great to have you, China <laughs> I mean, when uh, Cecilia surely has been gold, she's been golding you, definitely. She's been all about United and United and United. I mean, what do you have to say? To what she, Which what one? She Newcastle, about? United? Or? Yeah, Manchester United. Oh, okay, Manchester yeah. United. Uh, what well, it happens in football? They, 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 Why did they, you say Newcastle United? Don't you say United? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's because you United. <laughs> you know, I'm just, just to be certain. Yeah. Well, Chinasi, uh, surely you were very disappointed with our result. I mean, uh, I've never seen a team dominate an opponent so so much in a game ever. Yeah, sometimes it, so, so, sometimes it happens in football. You know, you, you just uh, see the pattern. Something is going, uh, and you feel that okay, it might not just be happening for you today because uh, you. I, like you said, the total dominance at uh, Old Trafford, mm. getting shots on target, getting chances at goal, get, you know, doing well, everything, in, hitting the post, hitting the woodwork. It just, it just wasn't there. The Zlatan missing the sitter, you know, come on. Everything just didn't pan yeah, out for one, United. One, one that uh, Rooney actually missed, I mean, when he had to yeah, get the ball over yeah, the post, it was that terrible. Was, that was a terrible miss. Uh, uh, when I saw that, when I saw that chance, I was thinking, why, Rooney, why was Rooney the person that? Because you know, I think from a similar position, United score sometimes so scored uh, a goal like that last season when Daddy Blind, yes. the ball was cut back for Daddy Blind to hit, yeah. you know. And uh, so when I saw Rooney 
be the I was expecting that from United, a quarterback and yeah. somebody hitting him. But when I saw it was running, I was like, okay. Yeah, it, it, it just it just didn't happen yeah, for United course. that day. Mm -hmm. just yeah. That's the way. And then when David De Gea, you know, you know, after the game, he says, look, he was actually surprised, unbelievable, unbelievable, yes. unbelievable, how the victory escaped, but the team did a great effort. That's the way. Your support always fantastic talking yeah. about the fans. Yeah. But somehow when this happened, you're looking at yourself, okay, how many points now from ten matches? This is the worst they've had like in how many years? Yeah, I think they've That's won it. just one in their last seven league yes. games. You know, the last the, only, the game they, the last game they won was against Leicester City. Yes. And before then they had been on the run of losses. They had to they got that win against Leicester City to sort of stand the tide and now they haven't been able to get no a win. At Stoke um, against Stoke and against uh, Burnley, they could have gotten six points, they ended up with two. So it's not happening for them now. We just hope that quickly it, uh, the tide turns. If not, uh, United fans are getting, some United fans are getting impatient already. Yeah, yeah maybe but, they are. But, um, but China say, uh, let's, let's look at it this way. Jose Mourinho has got a lot of tracks, a lot of critics. And they're coming out already now with a nice and definitely we saw we saw with Guardiola too. Is it a matter of is this a matter of Jose getting it wrong tactically in terms of player selection, or is it just a bad day that's gonna that's gonna pass very soon? I, I think it's 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 more of the latter. It's a bad yeah. day that will pass because you know let's talk about Guardiola. We just saw it. He went on a run of not getting anything, and he kept on saying that I know how to play my I, this. I have a philosophy of how I play football. This is how I'm going to play football. Yeah. A couple of results won't change it. I had ten straight wins to start the season or nine straight wins to start the season, and I haven't gotten results now. So. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing until it works. For some people, uh, they decide to change to what uh, they they know best. Like uh, Antonio Conte, we know yes. he, when he was at Juventus, he was playing. He was using the three defenders, yes. and he came to Chelsea. He sort of wanted to change to his four to, to four or five ones, and it wasn't goals. working. Yep. And yep. immediately he reverted back to his uh, formation, Tried his, his trust, trial yeah. and trusted formation. He started working for him. Chelsea have been going on getting results mm -hmm. and everything. So I think it's something that will pass. Mourinho is is about finding the balance of the team. Okay. And, uh, come on, you can't, you can't, yeah, you can't, you can't. Okay. You can't Play to give like as, that, as, that, as as before going for United now as a United fan, I mean United under Van Gaal and Moyes, I mean, they're playing a lot better, surely. Uh, well, we still have the same this, this is this is like um, chances, um, yeah, of target. course, creating chances, getting shots on target. But you know what? I think uh, let's give it a season as, as well. So, okay. And see okay. What now, you mentioned Conte. I mean, he had a lot to say about his new formation and all Especially the guys he <laughs> needed formation. to convert. I mean, it's the new formation. And I mean, it's one four games, four games, four games, and of course, Victor Moses is one of the surprise package in that one. He says, I ask my wing backs to attack and defend. I think Moses is a great surprise in this aspect because we know him as a winger, but I think he's playing in a fantastic way. Now, this is what coaches will have to look at some of you. Your players that everyone is thinking they are fringe players. They can bring you something different. He converted him and fantastically, I mean, since he has been playing so well, I mean, he, it, and uh, Alonso too, so we can give both of them the credit, you know, playing from the, the, the back and everything and see what they've been able to do, distribute the balls and everything. We've, we've seen positions change in football, you know, there, there have been hybrid positions uh, popping up the last decade or so. You, you know, now you're you, Ashley Young with Manchester United, we saw what Van Gaal was able to do to him, make him also track back. And with some Moses now, because if you look at what Conte is playing, he's playing three defenders, yeah. he has three central defenders, Aspliqueta is now a central defender in, yeah. in Conte's formation. Yeah. You know, you have Aspliqueta, you have uh, Gake Hill and you have that man. David Lewis. Then you have two wing backs, two wing backs uh, back on uh, Ambrosio, the, uh, the, the uh, Alonso, yeah, Alonso yeah. rather, he, Alonso, the, yeah. the left back. He's playing, he's playing wing back. And Victor Moses, who we know can operate from the wings, is also playing. So he can go forward and he can attack and he has yeah. the pace. You know, so uh, then he has two two yeah, midfielders. Yeah. Yeah. Matic <laughs> and Kante. Come on, fantastic formation. Yeah. And it's working for him. That's yeah. the most important thing because he might use the formation and it, and it, and it doesn't work for him yeah. and, okay. and the dives will come out and everything. But right now, it is working for him. Yeah. And I think it's going to to Moses now, I mean, immediately after the game, he tweeted that he was really happy with the team, you know, saying that yeah. brilliant feeling, of course, it's buzzing, buzzing with the wing. Yeah, just the point, just the point of the, of the guys yeah. on the top of the table. Yeah. And, and the thing is, can he actually bring this into the Super League? Because <laughs> the list was released on Saturday, and we saw his.